Here we are in Ackland Street, St Kilda, the place that it really excited me as a child. We'd go to Luna Park and then afterwards be treated to some baking extravaganza here, like a Florentine packed with almonds and covered in dark chocolate, or sometimes palmiers that were like elephant's ears. They were huge and buttery and crisp and, you know, when you're a kid, they're really delicious. Now as an adult, I come to places like Monarch Cakes where you get the best baking in Melbourne. Things like this lemon tart, crisp buttery pastry, intense lemon filling and twirls of cream on top. But sometimes you want something that's Eastern European, that's clean, that's one of the classics of European baking and that would have to be a cheesecake. Their recipe at Monarch Cakes is 100 years old and they have the cheese made for them by local cheesemakers in Victoria. So it's gonna be really good. I tried ever so hard to get the recipe from them, but it's a secret. So I'm gonna have to piece together my own. First off, I'm gonna taste it. It looks good. When you want a good recipe for something, you need a great bookshop. And here at Books for Cooks in Gertrude Street, Fitzroy, they have an awesome selection. So I'm bound to find what I'm looking for. They even have books that go back to the first European settlement of Australia. So better get looking. The thing that strikes me going through all the cheesecake recipes here at Books for Cooks is how different they are. You know, some use full fat cheese to give it a big flavor. Others go for almost like a curd cheese, like you might get in cottage cheese, those big little, little curds all the way through the cheese mixture. The other thing too, looking at books like this on continental cooking, what we used to call the food from Europe in Australia, was that they'd use Australian ingredients too. So in one recipe in this book, they've got a cream cheese pastry that's covering Granny Smith apples. Things like that have given me a few ideas, so I think I know what I'm going to do. So we're here to make our cheesecake and after looking at the recipes for Books for Cooks, you know, it's going to be hard to crack the Da Vinci Code of Monarch's secret cheesecake recipe, but I'm going to have a really good go. We're going to use full fat cream cheese because I can't get hold of quark and, you know, full fat is also often full flavour, especially in a cheesecake. So that's what we're going to use. I've got here a crumb case and if you've noticed I put foil around the outside that will a make it much easier to get the cheesecake out of the tin but b mean that if it rises too high it's not going to rise up and over and into your oven because the last thing you want after baking a cheesecake is to have to clean the oven so grab a bowl and a spatula put the cheese in the bowl Get the cream cheese as soft as you possibly can, ideally at room temperature, because it's going to make it much easier to get that very smooth texture, exactly what you need in the perfect cheesecake. So take your mixer and beat it. So keep beating it until that cream cheese is lovely and light. Next off, add the sugar. the sour cream as well. You can add it after beating the two together, but hey, you know, when you've got a really powerful hand mixer, you can do it all at once. Next off, we're adding flavoring. We're gonna start with some orange zest to give it a real fruitiness, and then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Use a really good quality one because you want that flavor to be intense. Now, to give it a cakey texture, we're gonna add some flour. I'm gonna use wheat flour, but you could just use gluten-free flour. 
Last of all, we're going to add some eggs. So that's four whole eggs and two egg yolks. Then all we need to do is mix everything together and that's the cheesecake sorting. What you want your cheesecake mixture to be like is utterly smooth. You know, almost as if you could just get a spoon and eat it right from the bowl. And that's what this looks like now. What I'm gonna do is pour it into the case, bake it in the oven for about 70 minutes until it's barely set on top, but gently risen evenly, then let it cool. And there you have it, a classic Eastern European cheesecake. And I'm gonna give it an Aussie twist with a little passion fruit placed on the top after it's cooled in the fridge overnight. Enjoy. <laughs>